In this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase or boost your FPS in Fortnite Season 9. This will also fix the FPS drops, FPS stutter and fix lag. So watch this video till the end and do all of the steps if you want to get an ultimate FPS boost. The first thing you want to do is to download the ultimate FPS boost pack by Boosted Animal. And you can do that by clicking on the link in the description. Once you download it, double click on it, extract it on your desktop and you can do that by using WinRAR or 7-zip and once it's finished, you can go ahead and open it. The first step is to open the Epic Games Launcher. Once you open the Epic Games Launcher, go to the settings, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Fortnite. Now take the additional command line arguments box and go back to the FPS Boosted Animal Pack. Now open the Fortnite command line notepad file and copy the commands and paste them in the additional command line arguments box. Once you paste them, you can go back and open Fortnite. If you're having high ping in Fortnite then no ping will fix that. It's an application that lowers your ping by letting you choose from servers around the world including the USA, Germany and more. Click on the link in the description to download it, sign up choose the server that has the lowest ping for you and then just play Fortnite. This has lowered my ping from 150 or plus to only 20 ping in Fortnite. So click on the link in the description and download it. The second step is to update your AMD, Nvidia or Intel drivers and you can do that by clicking on the links in the description. So if you have Nvidia drivers then what you want to do is just download the automatic driver updates software click on download and this will automatically install or update your drivers for your graphics card. If you have an AMD GPU then go to the AMD site, scroll to the bottom and download the auto detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows app. So click on download now and this will also automatically download and install any new drivers for your graphics card. And the third one is Intel so if you have an Intel GPU then just go to the Intel site and click on automatically update your drivers, click on get started and click on download now. So you'll download the Intel driver and support assistant and this will also automatically download and install any new drivers for your GPU. Once you're done you can close your web browser. The third step is to click on the search bar and type run. Now type percent app data percent and click on ok. Now click on app data and go to local, go to Fortnite game, open the saved folder, open the config folder, go to Windows client and now go to the boosted animal FPS pack. Open the Fortnite settings folder and choose the graphics card that you have. So I have an Nvidia one, I'm gonna go and open the Nvidia FPS setting folder. And I have an NVIDIA GTX 1050, so what you want to do is find your graphics card here, there's mine, the GTX 1050, open the folder, and I would advise you to open the low settings folder, because I want more FPS and I don't really care if the shadows are off in the game etc, so I'm gonna open the low folder, you can go with high or medium or, or normal, I'm gonna open the low folder, and what you want to do is copy the game user settings, so right click on them, click on copy, and click on paste in the Windows client folder. Now click on replace the file in the destination and wait for it to finish. OK. And now once it's done, what you want to do is right click on the game user settings in the Windows client, click on open with and select notepad. Now what you want to do is set the resolution size and last user confirmed the resolution size to the width and height of your monitor. So I have a full HD monitor, so I'm gonna set it to 1920 by 1080 and also 1920 by 1080. If you don't know your monitor size, then you can just go up, go on Google and look it up. Okay, and now what you want to do is set the desired screen width and height to the same size, so 1920 to 1080. OK and now scroll to the scalability groups and set the resolution quality to 100. So it should be 100.0000 etc. And also set the frame rate limit to 1000. 
so delete the 60 and set it to 1000.000 okay once you do that just click on file click on save and exit the notepad file now right click on game user settings go to the properties and click on read only this will disable fortnite from making any changes and this folder will not this file will not be changed click on apply and click on ok and you can now close the windows client folder now go back to the boosted animal fps pack open the ultimate performance command notepad file copy it copy the command and now what you want to do is click on the search bar type cmd right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator click on yes and now click on control plus v so paste the command and as you can see it says that the ultimate performance power option has been enabled now what you want to do is click on the search bar and type edit power plan and open it once you do that go back to the power options and make sure that the ultimate performance power plan is checked so as you can see i have three ultimate performances those are all of all the same i just pasted the command three times and that's why i have three of those you'll only have one and what you want to do is if it doesn't show up in the plans shown on the battery meter then click on show additional plans and select it from here and once you do that you can now close the power options and close the notepad file the next step is to click on the search bar and type geforce experience and open the app if you don't have it then i'm gonna post the link in the description to download it and basically this is a pretty useful app because it lets you download and automatically downloads and updates your drivers for your graphics card and also has more options that you can change to get more fps now what you want to do is click on the settings go to general and make sure that the in-game overlay is disabled as you can see it says that it easily records videos takes screenshots and in-game photographs once you turn that off go to the games tab and make sure that the maximum frame rate is set to somewhere around 60 fps now go to home click on fortnite and click on details now as you can see there is a plugged in tab and on battery tab i don't need the on battery tab because i don't play fortnite when my laptop is on battery so click on the plugged in and click on optimize and as you can see the game is now optimized for the nvidia gpu and you can now close the geforce experience the next step is to click on the taskbar right click on it and click on task manager and now close any application that your pc doesn't currently need so when you're playing fortnite the epic games you don't need the epic games launcher so you can close that you can also close you, you also don't need uh, the antivirus so i'm gonna click on it and click on end task and you can also close some other processes that you think that you don't need at the moment etc so you don't need the settings the photos your phone movies skype app calculator microsoft edge and etc and once you end all of the tasks that you don't need you can close the task manager the next step is to right click on your desktop and open the nvidia control panel if you can't find it there then just click on the search bar and type nvidia control panel and open it once it's open click on the plus next to 3d settings and click on manage 3d settings now in global settings what you want to do is set the high performance nvidia processor as a preferred graphics processor and once you do that go to program settings and wait for it to load click on select a program to customize and find fortnite and if you can't find it here then what you want to do is click on add click on browse go to the local disk where you have fortnite installed so for me it's local disk c go to program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and select the win fortnite clan win64 shipping.exe and click on open once you do that 
make sure that the high performance NVIDIA processor is set at the as the preferred graphics processor for this program. And once you set it, you can click on apply and wait for it to finish applying. And once it's done, you can now close the NVIDIA control panel. The next step is to open the Fortnite priority folder and double click on Fortnite high priority. Click on yes. And it says, are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again and click on OK. This will set Fortnite as a high priority process and basically it will take up more resources than any other application on your PC and you'll get more FPS with this. Once you do that, go back to the boosted animal FPS bag and open the NVIDIA profile inspector folder. Now double click on NVIDIA profile inspector.exe. Click on yes. And now once it's open, click on Profiles and type Fortnite and select the Fortnite game. Once you do that, go to Sync and Refresh and set the Frame Rate Limiter Mode to Frame Rate Limiter Control Delay Flip by Flip Metering. So just click on it. The next thing what you want to do is scroll down and go to common and set multi display mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance mode. Once you do that, go to power management mode and set it to prefer maximum performance. And now just click on apply changes. Once they're applied, you can close the NVIDIA profile inspector app and go back to the boosted animal FPS pack. The next step is to double click on system configuration, go to the boot tab, click on advanced options, tick the number of processors box and choose the highest number that you have. So as you can see, for me it's 8, so I'm gonna click on 8, click on OK, click on apply and click on OK again and click on exit without restart because you'll restart your PC after this video. Another step is to go to the in-game settings in Fortnite and go to the video tab. Now set the window mode to full screen. Lower the 3D resolution to around 60%. Turn off the shadows, turn off anti-aliasing, set the textures, effects and post-processing to low turn off vsync, turn off motion blur and also if you have this option to allow multi-threaded rendering then allow it so turn it, uh, turn it on and once you do that you can click on apply it says do you want to keep this video settings and click on yes the next step is to open the tweaking or advanced system tweaker app so double click on it click on yes click on next 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 and wait for it to finish installing once it's done click on next again and click on finish and it should open up now click on continue to program close the tip of the day and now click on the plus next to speed tweaks once you do that click on the plus next to general click on the plus next to networking and click on the plus next to services now what you want to do is add all of these tweaks so click on the first one click on add selected tweak now click on the second one and click on add selected tweak and do the same steps for all of these once they're all green what you want to do is click on apply tweaks and wait for it to finish and once it's done you can now close the advanced system tweaker app click on no because you'll restart your pc later and the last step is to open the timerresolution.exe app, so double click on it. And now when you're playing Fortnite, what you want to do is to open this app, click on maximum and play Fortnite. And once you're done playing Fortnite, just set the default settings. So click on default and you can now close it. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it and also check out my video on the ultimate FPS boost guide for Fortnite for any season. I have a few more steps in there, that is a 30 minute guide which is really helpful so check it out by clicking on the card in the top right corner. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and comment.